Hello YouTube. So today is an important day for me. I went and got the big chop. So I no longer have any little relaxed ends. I'm not transitioning. I am fully natural now. And I got my little braids. So the last time I had a perm was, or excuse me, the last time I had a relaxer was, I think September 29th or September 30th um, of last year, 2012. So this is the new growth that grew between, you know, almost a year. So that's it. I am natural now. And I cannot stand to wear a wig. Another latch hook, and I am using doo -doo -doo, Glance Braid Spiral Deep Curl. I like this hair. This used to be the only hair that I used, and one thing about it, it is very easy to tie off, so it won't take hardly any time to do. And while I was cleaning out my bathroom, I found this pack of Presto Curl, and it's color uh, TT530, which is a burgundy color. And I'm thinking about mixing a few pieces of this in with my glance which is I have color two and color four but to be honest you really can't tell well you can't tell on here for sure but you can't tell the difference between a two and a four they both look pretty dark um, one thing about these glance braids that you can kind of see I'm gonna pull up and show you they come with two bundles of hair unlike free trust and model model you get two bundles of hair with these and this was still $4.99 at um, hairsisters.com. So, I'm going to get started with that. Uh, the girl at the beauty school braided my hair in a different pattern. Usually I get it going straight back. And she did it like this, which I think I'm going to absolutely adore. Because when you have a part and you're putting the latch hook in, you're not going to have that one braid that has all these rows, you know, the latches where you see all those knots. This makes it a lot less visible. So I'm going to see how it turns out and I think I'm really going to love it and this will probably become my permanent braid pattern and she will definitely become my new uh, braider until I learn how to do it myself I suppose. because. Uh, She's a lot closer to my home than the other person that used to braid. So, I have had no sleep, but I'm going to get started on these braids so I can be done, hopefully, before time is at hell. It's 1.30. I'd like to be done before 6. And if I actually do it, I can be, but I doubt that I'm going to do it. I'll probably start doing a few and they get sleepy. But I'm not going to talk too much because I don't want this to be a super long video like all mine end up being. So I'm going to get started and I'll come back. Well, maybe I'll come back and show the first couple braids because I've never done that. So let me get the hair ready and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. So I am back with the kind of finished product. I didn't do what I wanted to, which was go through and get the... Um, get um, pieces of hair right at the very beginning because for one my hair was braided kind of tightly and I don't want to be pulling at these hairs right here so maybe later on when it loosens up a little bit I might do it but another problem is with this hair it's a uh, the glance braid spiral deep curl now, I used to get this hair all the time. This was the hair that I used, the only hair that I used. And it used to be really soft and it would come in individual pieces and they were relatively small. Every now and again you get one that was really tiny and one that was really big. But it, um, it was kind of uniform. They were all these nice small pieces and it was soft hair. But I don't know if they changed it around. Well, they had to have changed it around because now these pieces of hair are so hard. They are hard. It's like the hair has 
some kind of coating on it that is making it very hard. Therefore, it was really difficult to try and um, separate the pieces because I was going to do that with some that were really big and to do this part up here. But the hair is so hard, it was almost impossible to um, separate it because when you try it, it just all raveled up and balled up into this big old ball of mess that you could not use. So I don't know why they changed it, but they need to change it back because this used to be pretty much my favorite hair, the only hair that I ever used for crochets. And um, one of the um, best things about this hair is how simple it is to put in, but also how simple it is to take out because all you had to do is grab a hold of your knot, pull it, and it came right out because you do the very easy knots with this hair. Since it's so curly, it doesn't really come loose. You don't have to worry about doing all that intricate, that's the word I was looking for, knotting to try and get it to come loose. But anyway, here it is. Oh, yeah. So I look kind of poodlish, but <laughs> the curl over time will loosen a little bit and drop some. So it'll still be really curly, but not as curly as it is now. <sighs> so I woke up, it's like 8.15 in the morning. Uh, Thursday? Wednesday? Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning. And I had started this yesterday. I think it was 1.30 in the afternoon. And about 4 I went to sleep. And I didn't realize just how tired I was because I slept until just before 2 a.m. And then I woke up and started doing this and I finished just about 7.50. I had to go out on the balcony and water my plants and pick a whole bunch of vegetables including a beautiful, beautiful cantaloupe that I can't wait to eat. But anyway, um, this is really tight. Back, woman, braid my hair so tight. I'm not used to that tight braiding, but I still like it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not all that upset with how it looks now with the Y part. I'll just have to wait once my hair loosens up and fills in. It'll be really, really nice. So, this is it. And um, once again, I use the um, glance braid. And in my hair now, for the glance braid, I have color 4 and color 2. And the 2 is just thrown out in here. It's just a little bit darker than the 4. And uh, what I did, I found some of my... Uh, Free trust Presto. I bought this a long, long time ago, like probably three years ago, and I found it in my bathroom. And um, it was color TT530. So you can see little pieces of red here and there. So I just went through and put pieces of red here and there. And here is the back. And I think I have about four and a half to five packs in my hair. I'm not sure. I want to say five. I only had a little few pieces left over from the fifth pack. And then I say there's about maybe ten of the, the uh, Presto braids throughout here, the red ones. So it's pretty heavy right now, but uh, I'll get used to it. This used to be my hair, but it's just so weird having it so hard. It's just hard, hard, hard. But that will help it stay curled longer because <laughs> you got to break the coating in order for the hair to start messing up, which I don't plan on doing. That's why I left them whole. So that's it for my, what's this curl? Deep swirl slash presto curl. Hope you like it. Have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.